All right, Donnie Van Curen joins us now live in studio, and we're talking about how to talk to our children about what's going on in the world and, right. and these major events, like what happened this week in Texas. And This is kinda, on all of our minds as parents. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it, and not just this event. There's a lot of events happening over the last you know, couple of months and year that we need to have some sort of idea how to talk to our kids about it. Donnie, do you feel like sometimes, too, it's our own anxiety that gets in the way as parents because yeah. we're, we're freaked out that it's going to happen and to our kids? And that's the first thing that parents have to do is check your own anxiety. If we, we walk in and you're anxious about something, I think you could put that anxiety on your kids. You can just give it to them. Yeah. And they're looking at us trying to determine, hey, is there anything to worry about? And when we're just, hey, guys, we'd like to talk to you about something. So the first thing I would say is check your own anxiety before you sit down and talk to your kids about things that are going on. And then uh, I think number two here, you also have just kind of find find a place to do this. Find right. like, you know, a quiet place where you can pay attention to your child. Yeah, some parents mess up and they get in the car and say, hey, did you hear about this? And, and it's just, they kind of drop it on the kid. And kids need that ability to be able to process. And so I'd say quiet place, going for a walk, sit down. And what I say there is make sure you gauge what they know. Ask them how they're feeling, ask them what's going on. A lot of times we'll introduce subjects that don't need to be introduced. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're going through their life and they don't know about it. And certain ages, they don't need to know about it it but you want to have that dialogue just in case they do so that you can walk them through it so if they haven't heard about it already just let them be kids I don't said. think so I, yeah. I think as long as you have that gauge of knowing that if they hear something they'll come and talk to you and the third one is discuss their feelings and thoughts associated with the event so if they do know about it yes absolutely what what are you feeling and, and are you scared and do you have any questions and what's what are you hearing from other people you know gauge some of the, the information they're getting because they may be getting faulty information mm -hmm. whether for them, their friends or something uh, an adult and that's when you say kind of step in, limit what they're hearing. Uh, yes, and that's yeah. the other one is we need to limit the media access that uh, the media and coverage that our kids are getting, especially at the younger age. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes we just have that open dialogue or that open room of information going through. Some kids just are not prepared mentally and emotionally to have that information. So make sure you're monitoring. It doesn't mean you shove them in a closet, but make sure you're monitoring how much and what they're, they're getting into. Uh, one tip that I, I know you've mentioned before is to promote, encourage our, our family and, and mm -hmm. friends activities why is that and so important when we're talking about this though? right well you guys know with kids you know they'll they have a problem and then they'll go over here and they don't have the problem anymore you know they just go right to whatever's in front of them and so we want them to enjoy life we want to have fun we want to have activities we want to have family because that gets their mind off of the other stuff okay. and so just promote that because kids are really good at not remembering and, and real quick, you have you say continue to check in. You yes. make sure you you're, you keep Just, talking about it. I well, guess. because if you have that relationship, then what you want more than anything as a parent is if th something's going on, you'll know about it. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you have a relationship with your kid. So do you ask him? Hey, have you heard anything concerning, or how do you word it though? Well, how's your day going? Oh, you heard, you know, how, have, you know, good days, <laughs> good things, bad things that happened today. Hey, anything you want to talk about? Hey, I'm here, and just really open ended. You know, hey, tell me one thing great that happened, one thing that, that worries you today. And as long as it's open-ending, they don't feel like you're pressuring them. Yeah. And then they feel like there's that safety to talk to mom or dad, and mom and dad feel good about it as well. Good advice yeah, right there. All right, good. Donnie, we appreciate it. If you have a question for Donnie, send it to AskDonnie at News9.net, or you can visit his website, counseling1820.com.